So I'm pleased to understand that Russia have got the clear message that they do have a problem to deal with and they have taken action and I'm confident that they will continue to take action. Uh, my own uh, wish would be that that action includes a substantial support for the newly created Russian anti-doping agency. La présence de chef de laboratoire dans l'équipe technique et de scientifiques qui avise le comité international olympique, tout ça vient du fait que les résultats doivent être... We are developing methods for certain substances that are now under production in the pharmaceutical industry and which may be used sooner or later. If sooner, if already here in Vancouver, those athletes who considered to be using such substances should know that we may analyze for it, if not here in Vancouver, in one or two years time. So if you get free today, you will, we may be identified tomorrow. Um, if, what will you be doing to deal with those concerns? Yes, it is. The total number of tests should be something around 2,000 samples, uh, 400, 500 blood samples, and uh, 600, uh, 1,600 uh, urine samples. So depending on the substances we're looking for, uh, and the markers could be found either in blood or in urine. So this is the workload. Uh, currently, we are conducting the pre-competition testing. That is organized by the IOC and with the World Anti-Doping Agency. So The lab you hear is totally equipped to look after Sarah and uh, we don't expect major problems in the analysis of Sarah. I can't tell you, I'm not a wishman, I can't tell you what we will find, but we are totally equipped to look at it. <laughs> 